this is a story of heroic deeds and the bitter struggle for the triumph of good over evil and of a wondrous sword wielded by a mighty hero when the legions of darkness stalk the land. Secret old man. Tell me and I shall let you live. It is my right as your eldest son. I demand the key to the ancient power. The ancient power must never fall into the hands of the devil's agents. Father! 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 And let the secret die. Now! Father! The prophecies fulfilled, my son. The evil I've spawned will now pollute the land. I have much to tell you, and so little time. Take the pouch from my neck. The great sword, place it between us. Empty the pouch into your hand. Look. Look into the heart of the stone. Quick, the coldness of death is in my limbs. the great sword in your hand, and it will be so. The mind sword is now yours, my son. Father. Ten? You will die by the 
sword. Get him inside. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Sister Monica, help me to remove these rags. on some battlefield with the rest of the hand. With the help of God and a sharp knife, we may yet save the rest of the arm from infection. Come, Master Reynolds. It is time for you to eat. Where am I? You are under the protection of Cadenbury with the Sisterhood of the Holy Word. How did you know my name? You were delirious for a long time, and you spoke of many things. Some so terrible they passed our understanding. I could not save the hand, but the arm has healed. What happened, my son? My village to the south was attacked by raiders led by the devil himself. That devil burned our homes to the ground. And as the men, women, and children tried to escape from the flames, they hacked them to pieces, laughing as they did so. God, how they laughed. I was the only one to escape, God forgive me. What sort of man would kill innocents. I heard them call his name. Voltan. The Dark One. Wizard! Help me! Wizard! You promised me all in return for my Sword arm! Enter, Dark One. The 
Pain, it gets worse. Each time it gets worse. Your face does not heal. A strange malady affects the flesh. It is beyond all skill to render a permanent cure. Steal yourself. Your face will not pain you for a while, but you will need the crystal again. There is one who stands between us and the final victory. You will prepare the way for his death. We pray for care and compassion, for the love that is freely given and joyfully received. Blessed is the word, and doubly blessed is the truth. This is a house of God. Your weapons have no place here. I am told, woman, that your church holds you in high esteem. I am but a humble servant of God, like my sisters here beside me. We are here solely to assist those who most need our help. We would like you to help us, old woman. My son Drogo speaks true. How can I help you? What do you want? I, Voltan, want you, old woman. I know your name. Killer of women and innocent children, you are a servant of evil. But in this church, we have no fear of you. I am pleased that you know of me. It will make my task that much easier. Seize her. No! Ah! Let her go. No! Leave him. He will live to serve my purpose. Our lady is needed here. Why do you take her from us? For the gold that lies in the fat coffers of your holy fortress. Go tell them. For 2,000 pieces of gold, they can buy her freedom. I shall return when next the moon is full. The gold had best be here. If not... You are a warrior. Tell us what to do. Pay the, the ransom. Oh, that is impossible. The church has decreed that no ransom can ever be paid to any of its order. What happens to us is the will of God. Will of God? I know this man. I've seen what he can do. He'll take great pleasure in your lady's death. Oh, God, help me. I know not what to do. You save my arm, and Skullface must pay for the death of my village. Somehow, I'll get help. Then you must go. You must go to the Holy Fortress at Dainsford. Speak to the High Abbot himself. He will tell us what to do. come from our church in Cadenbury. He bears grave news. Feed him, let him rest, and bring him to me. The price to be paid is 2,000 gold pieces or she will be killed. If we pay the ransom for just one of our people, then all of us are at risk. It would be one more victory for the powers of darkness if she were no longer among us. There is one who has helped us before. A warrior who fought on the side of light during those dark years. If he could be found, he might help us. News has reached us of his passing through the northern territories a few days ago. Now, if you should find him, give him this. He'll know that his help is needed. By what name is this warrior called? He is called Hawk.
the woman this way. If it's any of your business, she's a witch! <gasps> and was caught practicing a foul art on one of my fine hogs. Does he speak the truth, woman? I sought only to cure the animal of its ills. She lies. The oh. pig died an hour after she touched him with that devil's oh. stick. Had you let me tend it, the creature would have lived. Enough of your chatter. This will put an end to it. No! Oh, witch. It seems that you'll have company when you burn. Kill him! He may run like a dog, but not I. Go in peace with your friend. Or else? Or else what, my fine friend? <laughs> Your sword, pig! Do not fuck me! The time of playing games is over! You go in peace. Now. There in the woods. But first, hand me my staff. By what name are you called, Lord? Hawk. Ah, yes, many times I've heard it spoken. You fight for good. It's the way I've chosen. You saved my life today, and I'm in your debt. How can I repay you? I need no payment. Wait. Let me look into the fire. It shows these dead eyes many things. A one-handed man seeks you. He carries a token. I also see a man who wears the mask of death. Beware of this man. He is filled with hate. Boltan. Where do I find this one-handed man? Go south quickly, for he rides into danger. Ranulf is his name. You will need me again, for the final battle has yet to be fought. <laughs> Necessary. We're travelers, and we would know in what direction the village of Burnby lies. To have killed our friend was a very bad mistake. A mistake that will cost you more than these few paltry coins. 
Your friend was a, about to stick me with his arrow. What punishment is fitting for this one-handed murderer? Something different. It's been a dull day. I'm no murderer. I was, I was protecting myself. <laughs> Silence, scum. A contest. I wager two silver pieces that I can get closest without drawing blood. Done. First two pieces of silver are mine. Again, and this time I'll raise the hairs on his head. Cut him down. It's you who will be cut down. The contest gets better. I'm called Hawk. Hawk? I have this for you. You're from the fortress? Yes. I've been looking for you for many days. Innkeeper! Tell me of the rumors again. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I, I, I know nothing, nothing, no, nothing for sure. But they, they say that a one-armed man is searching far and wide. <laughs> searching for what? No, 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 not, no, not. I swear it. You will tell us immediately that he comes here. <laughs> Animals. When you are in the presence of Voltan, you do not continue to eat. Nor do you sit on your greasy backsides. I rise to no man, save the man who pays my wages. And who pays your wages this night? My master is Sped, the hunchback. We are slavers on the river Shale. And we do not take kindly to strangers trying to teach us good manners. What's your master? No, no I like a man with spirit. But remember this and remember it well. Voltan owns everything. The table, the chairs, the very food you eat. I own everything, including your useless life. Remember it well. Your friend has lost his appetite, it seems. The hunchback will have something to say about this. The hunchback may have many things to say, but you have already said too much. Cut the tongue from his head, it tires me! <laughs> I trust you have learned something from this. I expect to be kept informed of any strangers passing this way, or of any unusual occurrence. Do you understand? Yes. 
Tell me again of the Dark One's demands. Two thousand pieces of gold for the Abbot's safe return. Have you ever crossed swords with him? thing for us to do on our wedding day. The guests will wonder where we have gone. <laughs> Voltan! You're not enjoying the festivities? How could I enjoy them when these festivities should have been for my marriage to Elian? Elian was never your betrothed. She had a free choice. Well, I fought alongside our father. You were here, turning her love for me to hate with your silvery tongue. You and I were friends. Nothing more. I love your brother as he loves me. Cannot you find happiness in your heart for our marriage? No. No! You are mine once and will be again. Take care, little brother. Watch for me in the night. He has changed. And it frightens me. His mind has turned in on itself. Wear it. It will protect you. I had Volta in my sights, but I should have fired. The Black Ones protect their own. Our horses have rested enough. We have others to find. Comrades who have fought by my side before. We have little time left. There's one who will find them for us. But the way lies through the forest of Weir. Well, the shortest route, my friend, is often the most dangerous. Beyond those gates will be his darkest night, but the Mind Sword shall light our way. Leave this circle of light and I may be powerless to help you. The ones we seek are the last of their kind. Gort, a giant from the mountains at the edge of the world. Crow, an elfin bowman from the silver forest, now burnt and blackened. And Balden, a dwarf from the Iron Hills. The land has changed. Wolves hunt where there were none before. This was once a green forest full of sunlight. Now it's a place of darkness and evil.
I've kept my side of the bargain. You drunk enough of my ale for three men. Part of the bargain. First the beer, then there was a price of two pennies mentioned. When the task was completed, uh, you haven't even started yet. Pay up, rat nose. Ah, well, now you see, I, uh, I, I never carry any money with me, because, like, there's all them, them thieves about to tear. I'll, uh, I'll give you the money tomorrow, all right? <laughs> yes, I'll have it here first, like, yeah, you can see the man. Back of dirt. You strike me, you get nothing. I'll have it here tomorrow. Sometime. On the other hand... Ah! No! <laughs> You owe me nothing now, pick nose. Justice! I demand justice! When this great ox is just under my wares, am I an honest citizen to be treated that way? Yeah, Ocellar is right. Now be a good fellow and clear up the mess you made. I'd sooner eat cow dung. Well, that can be arranged. And you can wash it down with your own blood if need be. So be it. Consider this the luckiest day of your life, Toad. Next, the elf. Strange individual, to be sure. I've never seen his like before. Well, whatever. He's got plenty of gold, and the way he inspects those points, no doubt he fancies himself as a bowman. I'm not so sure about this one. This has never failed yet. Listen, you play your part as always, and we'll have our pockets lined with his gold before the end of the hour. Well, go on, get rid of the blacksmith. Say to you, Master Blacksmith. I have a hard but rewarding task for you. Our wagon lies with the broken wheel a mile down the road. If you will repair it and return it here before sunset, you shall be paid handsomely. Start payment in advance. Hmm? <laughs> Greetings. My friend and I could not help but notice the beautiful bow and arrows you tend so lovingly. Might one inquire if you're bound for the tournament at Brackley? Hmm? Hmm. Permit me to introduce ourselves. This is Ralph of Coggish Hall, Master Bowman. And I am his humble companion, Fitzwalter. Uh, 
To whom do I have the pleasure of addressing myself? Crow. Maybe our friend only cleans bows. Oh, dear. I do believe my impetuous friend is challenging you. <laughs> he wastes his time and mine. Ah, oh, gentlemen, gentlemen, calm yourselves, I beg of you. <laughs> our friend here is not interested in children's games. He requires more serious inducement. Now, for a small wager, we could make it worth his while. What do you say, sir? Hmm? Name the target. Mm. We shoot from here. <clears throat> Whoever cuts their mark cleanly. <clears throat> Our friend will take the red mark, Ralph. Bows to remain couched and arrows in their quiver until I give the signal. Three, two, one, shoot. Is that understood? Right, gentlemen. Three, two, one. Leave the odds as they are. Continue. Three, two, one, shoot! My arrow hit first. The devil it did. My arrow left the bow first. There's only one way to settle this. I forbid this. You stay out of this, Fitzwalter. No. Well, little man, is the quake in your belly stopped your mouth? I am ready. Right, Fitzwalter. Count us down. Three. Two. One. Shoot! I never even saw it. I knew it! I knew it! I knew your tongue would be the death of you! God's blood! I have a mind to take a gizzard out and throttle you! for the last time, Lord Hawk. One more and we are complete. The table of five. The dwarf. Oh. Hosami. 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 Brethren. Cut me loose, ducks! The night falling of the Iron Hills will show you what to do with your puny bows. Be still, ugly one. It is a great honor to you to die this way. When the raft burns, your ashes will mingle with the holy waters of the lake, and you will become a part of its sacred oneness. Brethren. <laughs> Here I am about to roast, and I sit upon enough water to put out the very fires of hell. Damn your holy eyes! Brethren. Lay down your bows. By all the gods, Hawk.
Oh, well. This warrior is needed. You do not understand. By dying this way, he will be purified and his soul forever cleansed. Priest, I prefer him exactly the way he is. Unwashed, but alive. <laughs> Walter, I never did like the stuff. Greetings, Hawk. And how did the mighty Balden come to be in this sorry mess? Too much wine. A friendly fight or two. You know how it goes. A crack on the skull from a sultry wench, and I wake to find myself at the mercy of these chanting fools. There's a hole here as large as the pit of Gimri in the Iron Hills. <laughs> Your diet has improved a little since we last met. Ah, but the eye is just as quick. Think again, ugly one. Great glory could have been thine. I'll give you great glory. Ah, 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 brethren. <laughs> Now you all know the fate that awaits the abbess of Cadenbury if we fail. Remember, Voltan has many men and we are few. If it comes to battle, it will go hard on us. Since last I fought by your side, time has hung heavy. And that's not the only thing that hangs heavy. I yearn for the old days. I'm with you. The Iron Hills are no more. If I am to die, why not amongst friends? Voltan will want his gold soon. We do not have enough riches to fill a chamber pot. True. How are we to tempt Voltan if there is no wine in the cup? A day's march from Cadenbury is the river Shale. Once a month, traders come with gold to buy slaves from the hunchback's bed. It would be fitting justice for his ill-gotten gold to be used for the ways of good. The end truly justifies the means if the Lady Abbess has returned to her flock. I have reason to doubt the word of Voltan. I feel we are as one, my love. But you're so silent. Father worries at the news from the north. The country's being put to the torch, and soon we may be defending our own lands. If there is to be fighting, then my sword will stand by yours. Tomorrow at first light, we leave for the church at Cadenbury. Sent by the Lord High Abbot to help us. Come and sit. Get some food and drink for our friends. Now, tell us, how do you propose to raise the ransom? A day's ride from here are men who will be only too happy to meet our needs. This is good news indeed. Once the gold is here, Our Lady will be returned. Would it were that simple? I know Voltan as well as I know myself. <laughs> the next one will send you to hell, little brother. What sweet revenge to tell our whining, beast-loving father of your death. Then will he heed my bidding. Look well, little brother. The last thing you will ever see is the woman you love. In my arms. I will still be his. 
For I would rather be dead than have your snake hands touch me. I loathe each breath that keeps you alive. <laughs> Sister, there is no guarantee he will return the abbess, even if the ransom is paid in full. No, no, you must not say such things. He gave his word. Once the money is paid, our sister will be returned. What you say is too awful to contemplate. Her head moves in the clouds, I fear. I'll try to make her understand. Uh, Thank you, sister. That will be sufficient for me. Now, please, mm -hmm. some food for my friends. What is it? Nothing. Enjoy the food. It probably won't affect you in any case. Do you know something, dwarf, that I don't? Out with it. Not really important. The food will taste just the same to you. Believe me. Little brother, you're trying my patience. Unless you want to end up even shorter, your tongue had better speak quickly. Why do you say it will taste the same? Very well, then. Long shanks. So be it. We are in a monastery. Surely that's clear even to you. Well? Well, all I'm saying is that might be holy food. Damn it, little brother. What does that mean, holy food? Holy food has a flavor that some find not to their liking. Is this holy food? How should I know? You'll find out soon enough when you finish it. No. You find out. You're the expert. I don't want to eat Oh, but why not? What are companions for if not to help one another? Well? <coughs> well? Be sure. Little brother, if I thought for one moment that what you told me was a lie. Sister of the faith, tell my ox like friend here, would you describe this food as being holy? All food is holy, it comes from God. I hope I have made the right decision, Ranulph. My mind is sorely troubled. Sister. The return of your lady is Hawke's first concern. We could have offered what little wealth we have and asked Voltan for sufficient time to pay the rest. I'm sure we could make him understand. The Dark One understands nothing but the spilling of blood. I'm a warrior, and I know that your salvation from Voltan lies in having the strength of someone like Hawke to protect you. My son, God, protects us. He was protecting the abbess, and look where it's got her. Ranulph. Your words flirt with blasphemy. My words are just as true, nevertheless. It's impossible to talk to the woman sensibly. She will find her own counsel. Our first concern is the gold. Tomorrow we arrange a welcome for the slavers of the River Shale. Welcome! Welcome, friends. Welcome. Good to see you. I have many fine slaves for you to buy today. So lovely and clean for you. Fine. Look at that lot there. Hey. Well, well, then I must lead you. Aren't they a fine bunch? Bloody it cost me to collect these fine specimens. They don't call Spad the finest trader on the river Skull for nothing. Play square with me and I'll play square with you, that's what I say. But play far with Sped, and may God help you. Not as good as last time, Thomas. What? No, indeed. What do you say? Look at the fine biceps in this one here. Look at that. Hunchback. 
Greetings. I don't know what you're doing here, but you've chosen the wrong time to do it. My apologies. I have an urgent request to make. Request? I find myself in need of 2,000 gold pieces, and have been told that that boat contains sufficient for my cause. I shall need your help to unload it. It's a jest. That's a good one. <laughs> it's no jest. Will no one read near this madman? Cut him down! <laughs> Release them. Now. Marn! Take this and return to your home. <clears throat> what about Fat Man here? I'm sure you'll think of something. Put me down, you overstuffed fool! It'll be a pleasure. <clears throat> Damn you, he's enough done. I'll make you pay double for this. You still haven't learned the lesson of humility yet, have you, worm? Give me my club and I'll crack your head like the putrid egg it is. Since you set such store by this club of yours, <coughs> you've given me an idea. <laughs> Let me loose. Open wide. <laughs> Good. Fight hard, my friend. Now, frontal tail, I advise you to stay silent. One word from that foul mouth of yours and... Or perhaps one of your port slaves might happen along and find you. No doubt he'll want to exchange fond memories with you. The sort that will make you laugh loudly. Our thanks, brother, for the bountiful gifts you have bestowed upon us. <laughs> Some people can never keep their mouths shut. Let me raid the fat lords in the north. I will send cold fear into their hearts. All I ask is you give me command of some men to prove my strength. My blood is forever on the move. It needs excitement. I were to press one more inch, the backbone would snap like rotten wood. Is this not exciting? Is not the fine choice between living and dying more than enough to make your hot blood race through your veins? <clears throat> we will talk of this no more. My face bathes me. Draw your dagger out one more inch, and you are a dead man. Be you my son or not? I know the art of curing. Shall I tend your face? There is no cure for this face. Woman. Only periods of relief. What filthy animal have we here? I beg you, have pity on me. I barely escaped with my life. You may not escape so easily from the hands of Drogo, son of Voltan. If you are who you say you are, we are brothers under the skin. I buy slaves on the river shale. You dare to call me brother? A 
slave. Uh, God's teeth. Listen to me. I have words of great importance for you. Your news had better be very good. Would the news that a certain hunchback is no longer master of the river slavers be important? Go on. And that a band of warriors led by a certain man had taken possession of the hunchback's gold. What man? Get to the point. All right, but you're choking me. He is a strange warrior who wields a mighty sword. A warrior? Hawk. It must be. Quickly. Where is he? Such information would be worth much to the right person. Well, it didn't make a lot of sense, but as I hid in the bushes, I heard one of his men speak of a sanctuary. So, he helps the sisters find my father's ransom. Now, this must stay a secret between you and me. Not only will I bring back the head of this hawk, but I'll have the gold as well. And then, Voltan, we'll see who is the lord of the dance. You have done well, and will be richly rewarded. But first, you must swear you will tell no one of this chance remark. Today is the day that Drogo comes of age, my father. Has the one we seek come? Not yet. Hurry, the pain grows worse. Soon my tormentor will be in my grasp. Then shall he endure double the pain that I have suffered these long years. Prepare yourself, Dark One. It is truly a miracle. Our lady is saved. Not yet. Hawk still believes that once the gold is given, the Dark One will kill her. But he gave his word we must trust him. To trust him is to trust the devil himself. We stay until the abbess is safe. It will anger Voltan if he finds you here. You must go. We stay. Our sister has great faith in Voltan's word. One that she may live to regret. Alden, check to see if this place could be held against attack. No way in there. A small door leading to the outside bar. It would hold against many men. The rest is as you see. Always stuffing yourself, and never a thought of offering your companions anything. Well, they're rather special, that's all. Special, are they? Too good to share with a friend, are they? No, it's just that dwarves seem to be the only ones who appreciate the special flavor of them. Are you insinuating that your people have better taste than mine? Mm. What are they, some kind of fruit? Fruit, he says. Well, what are they, then? Those are the finest sugared turkles money can buy. Turkles? Mm, you long lummox. Turkles. What is it you call them? Lizard's eyeballs. <laughs> you needn't worry. Actually, they're sugared nuts, but if I told that to the big one, in no time at all, this bag would have been as empty as his head.
Armed men, moving towards us. How many? A dozen. Please, give them the gold. They shall have it when the abbess is returned. Now go to your cells. That's far enough. State your business. You know my business. I am Drogo, son of Voltan. I come for the gold. The gold will be given when the abbess is released. Tell Voltan it's here, waiting. I did not make myself clear. I came for the gold. I am no messenger. But I will give you a message. The message of death! Take him to Voltan. Tell him Hawk awaits the return of the abbess. Why did you not give him the gold? That is all he wanted. Now you will bring the death of the Dark One upon us. He came for the gold and Hawk. If he'd got them, your lady would not have lived beyond the dawn and this place would have been burned to the ground. You should have given him the gold. He would have returned the abbess and left us to live in peace. The peace of the dead. I wanted to prove myself. Hawk. Hawk? Where? He helps the nuns. The gold is in the church. I tried. Drago! My son lies dead, and yet you live. Give them weapons. It is fitting my son dies with dogs at his feet. Fight, or you die where you stand. Lost your courage so soon? Pick it up! Pick it up! Soon Voltan will be here. The gold is here, and I am here.
One man, on a horse. This is Voltaire. Wait. I have words for you. I will go. I know you hide the one called Hawk behind your doors. Hear me. And hear me well. Tomorrow, when the moon is high, I shall return. Hawk. And the gold will be given to me, or you shall have your lady back with her innards tied around her scrawny neck. And this place shall be wiped from the face of the land! We will all die because you killed his son. There would have been no ransom gold were it not for Hawk. You should have paid. And now we must all suffer because of your quarrel with this man. ride for help. Death. No time, my beloved. Baldan goes to destroy your father. You must go. Oh. Don't think badly of Sister Monica. She's frightened and confused. She blames you for our coming here. I know. What now? We are few, and Voltan has too many men. If you're being stung by wasps, you can either cover your head, or you can search out their nest and destroy it. And let us find ourselves a nest and bring the odds in our favor. Crow, find the woman. I need her help. Use of your magic. There is no sign of the abbess. I am ready. Step and her throat will be slit. The smoke is thinning. We must go. We've done enough. Ah! Move out! The smoke's thinning! Let's move out! They will be here soon enough. Let us rest. This is where the final struggle will be. Why have you come? I have a plan that will gain you the ransom and hawk. I only ask that you spare the abbess and the church. Sister, I forbid you to speak further. I must. Your life and the church are all that matter. The end cannot justify the means. 
then tomorrow will be the judge of my actions. Enough. Bolden, make sure all the doors are barred. Ah, little sister, some welcome food before I retire. Perfect. We have sat waiting, like this, many times before. Sometimes I tire of the fighting and killing. At night, I can hear the call of my race. They wait for me. Once I join them, we will be forgotten. Your people will never be forgotten. All is secure. It would take a thousand men to enter here now. Good. Thank you. Mm, beer. And a fine brew by the smell of it. Thank you, sister. You and your ladies have been most generous. Against so many swords at your throat, I fear the fight would be short. A little help from the good sister. Tie them up. You said no blood would be spilt inside the church. I kept my side of the bargain. Unfortunately, you will not live long enough to realize your mistake. But slow and painful as will be your friends. You will know how I have suffered through the years with a face that no woman would look upon, forcing me to take another man's child to call my own. You say you love Deleon, and yet you killed her. You killed our father. <laughs> You will never find it. Yeah, brother. I think you and your friends can be persuaded to tell me. They don't know. Only I can tell you where it is. Well, then. Then they shall watch you suffer. And when I have finished, they will accompany you down the river of death. Fetch me, fire! Bring all the wine and food in your stores, counter of beads. I have thirsty work ahead. Oh. Little men with pointed ears. I shall trim them for you later. And the giant fell 
powder by a pinch of powder. <laughs> you will give us great sport before you die. I shall give you a crushed head if I can get my hands free. Mm. You and I have met before. That time I let you live. You used your second life well, fetching my saintly brother. Now! I have no more use for you. And the dwarf. <laughs> you should never have been allowed to dig yourself out of the earth! <laughs> Bring the others! I think it's fitting that such a holy woman be present to give them absolution before they die. <laughs> See how it glows, brother. Soon you will feel its touch. And together, we shall seek out the hiding place of the gold. Leave him, stone face. I can tell you where the gold is hidden. Speak then, misshapen one. Is buried in the east. Where? Fulton! You will die by my hand! God damn! Just, we must free ourselves. Quick, the crystal. The pain is great. Has he been found? Yes, yes, he dies this very night, quickly. The pain! My bones are as immovable as yours. If we are not free by the time Voltan returns, we... need of my help, Lord. You've been looking into your fire of magic, Mother. Go quickly. Fulton's men return with the abbess, and the Dark One will not be at his ministerings long. This will make them dream a little longer. Even my powers cannot save him. He waits at the gate of death. I am sorry not to be with you for the final fight. I die as I wanted, among my friends. This will protect the grave from wild beasts who would disturb it. The dwarf shall sleep peacefully. What now, Hawk? I go to avenge my friend's death and to pay a debt long overdue. How do we get back into the church? I will give you the way. I beseech you once more, release my sisters. If Hawk is not in my hands by dawn, they will die. And I will tear this sanctuary down stone by stone. Pray hard, woman, that he may hear you. Have no fear. My magic powers will not harm you. But just for a short time, 
My powders will create a whirlpool of flying fire bolts to blind their eyes. <laughs> This is the moment of my revenge. At my command, they shall all be hung. And your friend will have his heart skewered. What do you want? You. Always you. Let the sisters and Gort go free. I shall be your prisoner. You still don't understand. You are in no position to bargain. Throw down your sword! Now! And your vestment? No. If you have a God to pray to, pray to him now. Enough! You have prayed enough! <laughs> so... You have found the power which is... rightly mine. Times have I dreamed of killing you slowly, painfully, and now.
Well, I shall wait for you at the gates of hell. Your friend will soon recover his strength, but I grieve for the others who died. I know you will see that they rest well. There's a lot of good eating and drinking money here, my friend. I don't suppose we can... of your friends, it is a high price to pay. The price is always high. Use it well. Where will you go now, Lord Hawk? Gort follows his own path, as do I. I've heard talk of fat barons with great stores of winter food and wine to protect. It seems that I am the man for that work. And may God go with you. The Dark One is no more. But even as we speak, the wizards gather in the south. Follow your destiny. When you get that look in your face... You did say south, woman. Ah, oh, well, who wants to work with fat old barons anyway? South it is. We shall meet again, bearer of the mind sword.